song was born in the year 1000, more than 1000 years ago. Her house was at the bottom of a hill where she lived with her mother, her father, and her younger brother. They also had an orange cat who liked to come at dinner time for food. At the top of the mountain was a temple where an oracle lived. An oracle is someone who can see the future. This oracle also knew magic and was good at healing people who were sick. The temple was so high, few people ever saw her. When Song was 16, her younger brother got very sick. Song knew what she had to do. She snuck out of the house and climbed up the mountain. She climbed well for the first hour. By the eighth hour of climbing, Song was ready to give up. Then, she remembered how sick her younger brother was. Song kept climbing for another two hours until she reached the top. When she finally got to the top, she met the oracle. The oracle agreed to help Song's younger brother. The price for her help was that Song must stay with her at the top of the mountain and become the next oracle. Song agreed, and now she lives and studies with the oracle. Although she misses her family, she is happy because she knows her younger brother is okay. This is an airport in America. Like all airports, planes come and go. The planes that come are called arrivals, while planes that go are called departures. The girl in the picture is departing. She has a blue backpack, which is called a carry-on. Carry-on go on the plane with the person. The person who flies on an airplane is called the passenger. The board with lots of words on it is called the departure board. Departure boards tell passengers when their plane is leaving and where they need to go to get their ticket. There are many reasons why people travel on airplanes. Some people are tourists. Tourists travel to countries because they like seeing new places. Some people travel on airplanes because they need to for work. Their jobs take them far away from home. Other people travel on airplanes because they want to visit family that is far away. Why do you think this young woman is going to travel on an airplane? Where do you think she is going? Alpacas are a cute animal. They are social, which means they like to have lots of other alpacas, humans, and other animals as friends. They are between 120 to 225 centimeters long and weigh 55 to 65 kilos. Alpacas have soft wool, which humans can make warm clothes out of. Alpacas are found all over the world and with training can become great pets. They like to hum but will shriek when danger is present. There are no wild alpacas in the world, only domesticated. Domesticated means that humans give them homes. Animals like dogs and cats are domesticated too. Alpacas were domesticated about 6,000 years ago from wild vicuñas. Vicuñas are a wild animal. Vicuñas are like ancestors to alpacas. Alpacas will have babies once a year. They grow babies in their stomachs for 242 to 345 days. Alpaca babies are called cria. Andy went to visit his twin brother Darren. The two of them were very close when they were teenagers. They liked to go to parties and study together. When Darren got married, they stopped seeing each other so much. Andy still enjoyed going to parties. Darren liked staying home and watching television with his wife. One month ago, Darren's wife had a baby boy. Andy was going to meet the baby for the first time. Andy did not want to see Darren's son because he did not like children. Andy had never held a baby before. Andy was even a little scared of the baby. What if he dropped the baby? When Andy arrived and saw Darren, he was so happy. Darren was carrying his son. When Andy looked at his nephew, he loved him so much. Darren showed Andy how to hold the baby. After that, 
Andy never put the baby down. Andy even stayed the night and cuddled with his nephew. He decided he liked kids now. Halloween is one of the scariest holidays of the year. In North America and Europe, children like to dress up in costumes and go out trick-or-treating. They go outside in the dark to get candy from their neighbors. However, the ghosts like to go out too. On Halloween, ghosts are able to walk in the world of the living. You cannot touch a ghost because you will pass right through them. Ghosts are very cold. When you are around a ghost, it will feel like you are next to an open refrigerator. Some ghosts are very scary and mean. Others are very friendly. There are two ghosts called the White Sisters. The White Sisters are very friendly. They walk around on Halloween night and watch all the children going out to get candy. When people see them, they think the White Sisters are just friends going for a walk. They are actually watching the children because many kids get lost on Halloween. When a child gets lost, the White Sisters help the child find their parents and friends. Many children never know they were helped by ghosts. The children who do learn the White Sisters are ghosts learn the good deeds that ghosts do on Halloween night. Stamos was a baker. He had worked as a baker for five years. He loved to make bread and pastries for people. He made lots of bread loaves, baguettes, and sourdough. The kitchen was very hot, which Stamos didn't like. He sweat a lot when he made bread in the oven. He also burned himself many times when he was baking bread. Those were the things he did not like about being a baker. What he loved about baking bread was being in the bakery and giving the bread to customers. Some customers came to buy bread for dinner. They would come after work, and they were very tired. These customers were happy that Stamos made delicious bread for them. There were also children who came with their parents. They loved to buy donuts. Stamos sometimes gave the children a free cookie. Stamos really loved the happy customers because he knew his baking made them happy. His house was finally finished. John was an architect, which meant drew and designed houses for work. John loved his job. For the last year, he was sad at work because he was always designing houses for other people. He made sure their houses were beautiful. He made sure everyone else had a house that they would love living in. John was sad because he wanted a house for himself. John bought a plot of land. His plot of land was very big and had no houses on it yet. John drew a house on paper. He made sure the rooms and windows were very big. He also drew three bedrooms, a bathroom, and a big living room. John hired people and paid them money so they would build his house. Finally, after a year, John's house was finished. John was so happy he jumped for joy. Camping outside is a great way to spend time with friends. Jesse and Sang Min liked to go camping together. When they went in autumn, it was colder, so there were less people at the campsite. Jesse and Sang Min liked the privacy and having the campsite all to themselves. Jesse and Sang Min liked to go camping since they were 19 years old. They have been going camping together for 10 years. This was the last time they would go camping together for a long time. Sang Min was moving to Ireland for his job. He was not sure when he would return and see his friend Jesse. Although they knew they could talk over Skype, Jesse and Sang Min were still sad they wouldn't get to go camping together. This time, they bought beef hot dogs to cook on the barbecue. It was their favorite thing to eat. They sat and talked all night, even though they were cold. They loved seeing each other one last time. Once upon a time, there was a large castle. A princess named Bonnie lived in the castle. Bonnie was all alone there. There were not even any servants. Her only companions were the dolphins who swam around the castle. Every day, Bonnie would read books, paint pictures, and clean the castle. Her favorite part of the day was when she went and talked to the dolphins. She told them all her secrets and her dreams. One day, Bonnie was so sad she was alone. 
she went out to talk to her dolphins. She was sad because they couldn't talk back to her. Just as Bonnie was going to go back inside, she heard voices saying, Come in the water. We will be your friends. When Bonnie turned around, she saw people in the water. She jumped in, but quickly learned the people in the water were sea witches. They were going to pull Bonnie so far underwater she would drown. Luckily, her dolphin friends saw Bonnie was in trouble. They fought off the sea witches, and Bonnie swam up. Bonnie never complained about being lonely again because her dolphin friends were so wonderful. Many people think black cats are bad luck. For Tinker, the opposite is true. Tinker was a black kitten. She was very good luck. Tinker lived in Beijing. When new businesses opened in her neighborhood, Tinker would go to visit. Some business owners were very nice to Tinker. They gave her warm milk or canned cat food. Or, if they had no food, they would greet her and say she was a beautiful kitten. Other business owners were mean to Tinker. They would throw things like sticks and rocks at her, making her run away. The business owners started to realize that the ones who were nice to Tinker made lots of money. The business owners who were mean to Tinker quickly went out of business. When the business owners realized they could make lots of money if they were nice to Tinker, they all started being nice. The business owners were not just nice to Tinker. They started being nice to all the stray cats in the neighborhood. Some even adopted the stray cats or helped them find new homes. Tinker helped business owners make lots of money, and she also helped the stray cats in the neighborhood. Tinker was a very good cat. And she was very good luck. Avocados are delicious, and making avocado foods is both easy and fun. The chefs at Avocado Haven Restaurant liked to experiment with avocados. They made avocado toast with bacon. They made avocado pasta. Many customers loved the stuffed avocado. The chefs would cut an avocado in half and take the pit out, Removing the pit left a hole in the avocado the size of a small ball. The chefs would put a mushroom into the pit and fill it with diced tomatoes. The avocados were put in the oven for 20 seconds and seasoned with lime, pepper, and cilantro. This recipe was made by a customer. At Avocado Haven Restaurant, there was a bulletin board on the wall where customers were invited to share their favorite avocado recipes. One day, the chefs looked at the board and saw the recipe for stuffed avocados. When they started making stuffed avocados, they were immediately loved by all customers. The people at Avocado Haven Restaurant have no idea who shared the recipe, but they are thankful. Everyone loved the stuffed avocado. In the summer, people love to go outside and play. They go outside to markets to spend time in the sun. Many street performers also put on performances on the street. Street performers do things like juggling, magic tricks, or gymnastics. Audiences watch the street performers. When the street performer is finished, the audience gives them as much money as they want to. Some audience members do not give any money, while other audience members give a lot of money. Sahid was a unique street performer. He did not juggle do magic tricks, or gymnastics. Sahid did special performances with bubbles. He shaped people out of bubbles, dragons out of bubbles, and many other things. Audiences loved watching the bubble shapes Sahid made. They would watch as Sahid made new shapes and chase the bubbles as they floated away. Most people loved the bubbles so much, they would give Sahid lots of money when he was finished performing. Sarah was from California. It is very warm in California, and it never snows. Sarah grew up with summer all year round. Her house was near the beach, and she would go surfing every weekend. Sarah saw snow on TV. On TV were many Christmas and holiday movies where it snowed. Sarah thought the snow looked beautiful. She wanted to see snow in real life and be just like the people in the movies. While she loved warm weather the beach, and surfing, she wanted to see something new. When Sarah was 21, she visited Minnesota. She drove up there with her auntie. When she arrived, she was disappointed. 
She thought Minnesota would have snow, but there was none. Sarah explored Minnesota and enjoyed the sights, even though there was no snow. When the sun went down, Sarah saw little white things falling from the sky. What's that? Sarah asked a stranger on the street. The stranger told her that it was snowing. Sarah was so happy. She got to see snow, and she also got to see snow falling from the sky. Listening to music on the phone is lots of fun. Lindsay loved listening to music with her headphones. She spent a lot of money on her headphones because she wanted to hear the music playing with the best sound. Lindsay listened to music wherever she went. She listened to music on the bus, while she was walking, even while she was studying at school. Her favorite band was called Blue Green Ocean Jazz. They played jazz music, and their lead singer had a very beautiful voice. When Lindsay learned Blue Green Ocean Jazz was coming to her city to play, she was so happy. Lindsay waited next to her laptop for half an hour so she could buy a ticket the second they went on sale. Lindsay was able to buy a ticket for the standing area in front of the stage. It was her favorite place to be when she went to a concert. Lindsay put on her favorite dress and her most comfortable shoes before she went to the concert. When Lindsay was at the concert, she loved hearing the music so much. She loved hearing the music played live more than she liked hearing it through her headphones. She lifted her hands up and made a heart. Lindsay hoped the lead singer saw her, telling him she loved him, his music, and blue-green ocean jazz. Michelle and Tommy have been dating for three years. They met when Michelle and Tommy were both 23. They met the year they both graduated from university. Michelle liked studying biology, and Tommy liked studying English literature. They met at their university's library. Tommy asked Michelle if she had a spare highlighter so he could highlight some sentences in his Charles Dickens book, Great Expectations. From that moment, the two started dating. They love each other very much. For the first time in three years, they decided to go on vacation. Michelle and Tommy decided to go to Vietnam because they saw pictures on Google. Vietnam looked beautiful and warm. The plane tickets to go there were also very cheap. Michelle and Tommy enjoyed visiting Vietnam very much. When they went for a walk, they saw a beautiful green field with lots of trees. They stopped to take a photo together. Both of them really loved the photo. When they continued walking, Michelle and Tommy thought about how much they loved the photo. It would be a great photo to go with an engagement announcement, Michelle said. Tommy agreed. The two decided together that they wanted to get married. When they were back within range of Wi-Fi, they sent the photo to their friends and family, along with a message that said, We're getting married. Mina avoided going home to where her parents were. She had a job in the city, but it did not pay a lot of money. She was not dating anyone, and she was not married. She could not afford new clothes and often wore the ones her friends gave her. Some days, she could not even afford to eat. When she wanted to go somewhere, she rode her bike there. It was not a motorbike. It was just a normal bike. She lived in a tiny apartment, and she didn't want her parents to know she was so poor. She avoided visiting her parents because she felt ashamed. One day, her parents insisted she come over for dinner. It was in autumn. Mina felt nervous, but she hadn't seen her parents in three months. If she did not visit them, they would come to her apartment and see how small it was. Mina rode her bike to her parents' house. Her parents were very nice to her. When dinner was finished, Mina started crying and admitted she did not have a lot of money. Mina's parents wanted to help her. Mina was thankful. That year, Mina got a high-paying job. Mina thanked her parents because she couldn't have done it without their help. Her parents told her she should have asked for help sooner. Jojo was a bulldog. Everyone thought bulldogs were mean, but anyone who took the time to meet Jojo knew that bulldogs were very nice dogs. Bulldogs did not bark, and they didn't bite. Jojo loved to cuddle and sit on her owner's lap while she was working. When she was on her owner's lap, Jojo would take a nap, and she was very happy because she was loved. Jojo was not always loved. 
Her first owners were very mean. They got Jojo when she was a puppy. When Jojo got bigger, they thought Jojo looked scary, and they left her at the bottom of a mountain. Jojo was so sad because she loved her owners. Jojo tried to find her way home, but she couldn't. Jojo was found by a human named Samantha. Samantha was very sad because Jojo was whimpering. Samantha took Jojo home and took care of her. Jojo loved Samantha and was very happy Samantha had found her. Samantha became Jojo's new owner. Elephants are the largest mammals on earth. Mammals are warm-blooded. They give birth to live babies and do not lay eggs. Elephants live throughout the continents of Africa and Asia. Elephants have large ears. They also have long trunks, which they can do many different things with. They use their trunks to pick up objects, say hello to other elephants, or drink water. They also make a loud noise from their trunks when they are in danger. That way other elephants know to run away. Both male and female elephants have tusks. Elephants can be right-tusked or left-tusked, the same way a human can be right-handed or left-handed. The tusk they use more is usually smaller because it gets used all the time. Elephants use their tusks for many different things. They can protect the trunk, lift and move objects, gather food, and strip bark from trees. The elephant population got a lot smaller during the 20th century, between 1900 and 2000. Many hunters liked to hunt and kill them for their ivory tusks. George was a firefighter. Firefighters fight fires. When a house or building catches on fire, it is very dangerous to the people who are inside. Fire can burn people, which is very painful. Most people who die in fires die because they breathe in the smoke. Smoke is very bad to breathe in. George became a firefighter because he wanted to save people. He was very strong, and he wanted to use his strength to help people. One day, George was called to fight a very big fire. It was burning a home where a family with three children lived. George wanted to put the fire out because he wanted to save the children. He took his firefighter hose and sprayed the fire. Firefighter hoses are very strong, and the water is sprayed strongly enough to put fires out. While George was using his firefighter hose, other firefighters went into the house and saved the children. When the children got out safely, they all hugged George. They were so happy the firefighters saved them. There is one spot in the ocean where lots of fish swim, and they are very easy to catch. Two families found this spot at the same time. One family used a boat and paddle. The other family used a net. Both families caught fish for dinner. Catching fish to eat helped them save money, and the fish they caught were fresher. Fresh fish tasted better. When they were cooking the fish, they would add spices so the meat would be delicious. At first, the families didn't like each other. Both families wanted the beach all to themselves, but then they saw that one family was good at fishing with their boat. The other family was good at fishing with their net. They thought if they worked together, catching fish would be easier. They were right. They worked together and caught more fish. They talked as they worked and learned they enjoyed spending time with each other. They started to eat dinner together. Soon, they became like one family. Chickens are a type of animal. People love to keep chickens as pets and livestock. Chicken as livestock lay eggs which people can eat. Or many people can also eat chicken meat. The female chickens are called hens. The male chickens are called roosters. Roosters are very colorful. Their tails can be more than 30 centimeters long. There is usually one very strong rooster who leads some weaker roosters and the hens. This is called a pecking order. Chickens have babies in the spring and summer months. A hen can make an egg in 23 to 26 hours. Baby chickens are called chicks. Chicks hatch in about 21 days and grow into adult chickens in four to five weeks. Hens who are more than six months old are able to lay eggs. Most chickens will lay eggs for two or three years. Mindy loved kayaking. 
Kayaking was fun because she got to be in the middle of lakes all day. The lake water looked blue in the sunlight. There were always beautiful mountains in the distance. Mindy lived next to a big lake, so she would go kayaking every weekend. Because she always went kayaking, Mindy had very strong arms. When Mindy was kayaking, she loved to see the mountains because they were so beautiful. But she was never strong enough to go all the way to the mountains. They were very far away. After three years, Mindy got frustrated. Mindy always saw the mountains when she went kayaking. More than anything, she wanted to go to the mountains by herself in her kayak. When Mindy got frustrated, she vowed to make it to the mountains. Every weekend, she would paddle as far as she could. On weekdays, she would go to the gym and lift weights. Lifting weights made her arms stronger. Weightlifting helped her go further. After one year, Mindy finally made it to the mountains. Mindy was so happy when she made it. Sonia and Lonnie were best friends since the day they were born. They were born on the same day, in the same hospital. Their parents met at the hospital. Their parents always made playdates for them. Sonia was always very brave and loved to go out and find new places. Lonnie was shy and was often afraid. Sonia made Lonnie more confident because she always led her friend on new adventures. Lonnie's shy nature helped save Sonia from many injuries because Lonnie could see danger better. They were going to start nursery school together soon. Lonnie was very scared of going to school and being in a classroom with so many other kids. Sonia was worried the teacher wouldn't like her because she wasn't good at schoolwork. The two girls talked to each other. Sonia promised to Lonnie she would help her the first day to meet new friends. Lonnie promised she would help Sonia with the schoolwork. After talking to each other, they were not scared anymore. Michael grew up in a small family. He had his father, his brother, his grandparents, and that was it. The rest of his family, such as great-grandparents and cousins, lived far away. Because he lived in such a small family, he knew them all very well. Everyone was very close. Michael's father was a welder. He worked to make new buildings by fusing the metal together. Michael's brother was much younger than he was and was still in school. Michael's grandparents lived close by. They loved to give gifts to Michael and his younger brother. Most of the presents were clothes, while others were old toys. Every time his grandparents gave them presents, Michael and his younger brother smiled and said they loved them. One Christmas, their grandparents were worried Michael and his younger brother would be too cold. Their grandparents gave Michael's younger brother a jacket with goose down. They gave Michael a fur hat. For once, Michael really loved the present his grandparents gave him. His father took a photo of Michael wearing the hat. Michael made a funny face in the picture. The picture was sent to Michael's grandparents, and they thought the photo was very funny. Teacher Song loved flying. She loved traveling to new places on airplanes. For her, being on the airplane was better than being on vacation in the new place. When she was in new countries, she always found the tallest building. Teacher Song had gone to the top of Latte Tower in Taipei 101. She even went skydiving. One thing she had never been able to do was go in a hot air balloon. Many of the hot air balloons were far away. It looked like so much fun. She could see things from high up and see the world all around her. It would be like being on an airplane, except she might be able to feel the clouds around her. One week, Teacher Song won a contest to go in a hot air balloon. Teacher Song was so excited. She went up in the hot air balloon. She took her camera and took many pictures. This was different from being in an airplane, as it was hard to take pictures through the airplane glass. All the pictures Teacher Song took looked beautiful. Michael and Jordan were both five years old, and they did not like each other. At school, they fought all the time. Michael would take Jordan's crayons. Jordan would take Michael's pencils. They would end up pushing each other. Their teacher had to come up and separate them at least twice a week. Their parents were very worried. They tried to teach their boys that fighting like that was wrong. 
the parents met with Michael and Jordan's teacher. They were all out of ideas. After talking for a while, they learned both boys liked bumper cars. One day, the parents took the boys out together. They both went on the bumper cars, and they raced each other. They bumped into each other as hard and fast as they could. Neither boy got hurt. When they were finished, they didn't feel like fighting. The parents were happy. They went to ride bumper cars every weekend. After that, Michael and Jordan stopped fighting each other in school. Philip's house was made to be strong. He lived alone on the prairies. The prairies are a place where there are very few houses. Philip's closest neighbors were 20 minutes away. He lived alone, and there was so much land around his house. The house was made strong because there were sometimes tornadoes in the area. Most tornadoes were very weak, but Philip still went to the basement to hide anyway. Other tornadoes were very strong. Since Philip had lived in this house, there had only been weak tornadoes. After living in his house for five years, Philip got an emergency warning on his cell phone that said a tornado was coming. This tornado would be an F4. F4 tornadoes are very dangerous. As he always did for tornadoes, Philip went into his basement. He was scared because an F4 tornado could tear his house down. Philip stayed silent in his basement all night. In the morning, many of the trees around his home fell down. But his home was still standing. Although a couple windows were broken, Philip was thankful his home was built strong. Volcanoes are like mountains, except many can explode at any moment and spread rivers of lava over the land close by. When a volcano leaks lava, it's called a volcanic eruption. Volcanoes have created more than 80% of Earth's surface. There are volcanoes on every continent, even Antarctica. There are even volcanoes at the bottom of the ocean. New islands in Hawaii are always forming because of ocean volcanoes. Volcanic eruptions can be a good thing because the land created from volcanic eruptions is very fertile. Fertile land is good because plants can grow very easily. Volcanoes can also be bad because people can get injured or killed from volcanic eruptions. There are about 1,500 volcanoes that are still considered active. This means there are 1,500 volcanoes that might erupt. 161 of these volcanoes are in the United States. Mountains are very important old and beautiful. People like going hiking up mountains because many people find it very relaxing. Hiking is a very common pastime in Korea. People of all ages enjoy climbing to the top of mountains for exercise and enjoyment. People will go hiking with their family and friends. The views from the top of mountains are very beautiful. Other people like to hike for the challenge. There are some famous mountains, such as Mount Everest in the Himalayas, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, and Mount Fuji in Japan. Climbing some of these mountains can be very dangerous. Mount Everest is the highest mountain above sea level. While many people climb Everest safely, some people cannot make it to the top. Climbing can also be expensive. Climbing Mount Everest can cost more than 60,000 U.S. dollars. Socks always got lost in the laundry. Laura was always looking for socks when she went to the laundromat to do laundry. Laura didn't have a washing machine in her apartment. Laura needed to do laundry every week because she needed clean clothes for work. At the laundromat, she could spend $10 to get her clothes washed and dried. But she always lost at least one sock in the washing machine. One Sunday, Laura went to the laundromat to do laundry. When she finished washing them, she was going to put them in the dryer. Then she remembered how she always lost socks. Laura climbed up to look in the washing machine. In one of the corners of the washing machine was a pink sock. Laura climbed up and reached for the pink sock. She had to crawl all the way into the washing machine. Her legs stuck out. Finally, Laura grabbed the pink sock. She was proud she wouldn't be losing any socks today. When Laura looked at the sock, she realized that this pink sock didn't belong to her. It belonged to someone else. 
Grace was in her last year of high school. She had a group of very close friends, and they studied for their exams together. Most of the year, they were all happy friends. Now, they were all worried and sad because of their exams. Brittany was so sad, Grace walked in on her crying in the bathroom. Tae had the flu and was so sick, it was hard for her to study. Hugh did not like tests and was scared he was going to fail. Grace was so worried about her friends, they were not acting like themselves. The day before exams, instead of studying, Grace decided to do something nice for her friends. She went out and bought macaroons and flowers for them. She wrote each of her friends a note, saying what she thought was great about them. Grace told Brittany that she was smart and fashionable. Grace told Tae that she was beautiful and good at science. Grace told Hugh that he was a good friend and very artistic. All of Grace's friends finished their exams and all of them passed. Grace's friends said they couldn't have passed without her kindness. She made them more confident. Tilly and Jacob were brother and sister. They shared an apartment. The apartment did not cost a lot of money because it was so far out of the city. The two owned a dog named Bow Bow. Tilly and Jacob both loved Bow Bow because he was cute, and he loved to cuddle with them when they were at home. Bow Bow liked to work with Tilly when she was on her computer. Bow Bow liked to go on walks with Jacob. One day, Bow Bow went missing. Jacob ran around trying to find Bow Bow. Tilly waited in their apartment in case Bow Bow came back. They looked all day but couldn't find Bow Bow anywhere. They were worried, so they made posters. After one week, one of their neighbors brought Bow Bow back. The neighbor had a dog of her own named Shauna. Bow Bow loved Shauna and was visiting her. They all planned to make playdates for their dogs so Bow Bow wouldn't run away again. Daisy was a deer. She lived all by herself in the forest. She didn't know any other deer or any other animals for that matter. She lived in a beautiful part of the forest where there was lots of green grass. She enjoyed the beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Daisy never needed to venture far because she loved the forest exactly where she was. One day, Daisy noticed there were red flowers growing in part of the forest. They were like red fire. Daisy couldn't tell if there was something wrong. Was she in danger? Was it food? Daisy didn't know. She looked at the red flowers. They were not hot or mean, so she decided to taste them. She leaned over and found out they were very sweet. When she looked up, she saw several other deer. They had seen the flowers and come too. The flowers helped Daisy meet other deer. Peach loved paragliding. It was her favorite thing to do. She went paragliding in many different countries. She went in Vietnam, the Philippines, Australia, and America. She had seen many blue oceans while paragliding. She had seen many green mountains. She had also seen many flowers. Peach booked a trip to Canada so she could go paragliding over a cold area covered with snow. Peach was very excited, but also very cold. Peach had gone paragliding many times before, so she went alone. She thought it would be the same as her experiences paragliding before. Peach took off. It was easy and fun. She glided over the beautiful mountains and enjoyed the view below. It was an amazing view. When it came time for Peach to land, it was icy and slippery. Peach slipped and fell down on her bum. She got a very bad bruise but still really loved going paragliding. Beatrice loved photography. Photography is the art of taking photos. It can be done on a phone or with a camera. When Beatrice was in high school, she studied math and science because she thought she wanted to be a nurse. When she wasn't studying, Beatrice picked up her phone and took pictures. Beatrice took very good pictures of the plants and houses close to her. Beatrice did such a good job taking photos that her neighbors and parents often told her, Your photos are so good. You should be a photographer. When Beatrice was 18, she bought a camera and started taking photos. When Beatrice was 19, Canon Cameras held a photography contest where the best photographer would win a trip to Europe. Beatrice wanted to win very badly. 
Beatrice went down the street and took a photo of the old tree. It looked very beautiful because she took the photo at sunset. Beatrice won the contest and went to Europe. She was so happy. When she was in Europe, she took many good pictures of the buildings, the plants, and sky. Luckily, Beatrice went with some friends who took pictures of her. Mayo worked in a lighthouse. He was the only one working there. He had a cat named Stephen who kept him company when he was working. Stephen liked the lighthouse because it was dry and quiet. There were also a lot of fish around the lighthouse. Mayo liked the lighthouse because he liked the quiet. He also liked knowing the lighthouse helped ships from crashing into the rocks. One night, Mayo heard noises from the lower floors of the lighthouse. It sounded like screaming and banging. Mayo looked and saw Stephen right next to him. Stephen wasn't making any noises. Mayo went to investigate. He went down the stairs. The screaming got louder. Mayo found a mommy cat with a litter of kittens who wanted to be fed. Stephen was a daddy cat. Stephen's cat family scared Mayo half to death the night the kittens were born. Soren loved books. He loved looking at the books. He loved how colorful books were. Soren told his parents and his teachers all about his books and the pictures. He made up stories based on the bright colors. He even made his own books that he drew with crayons. He gave all his characters interesting names, like Hunter, Owl Boy, and Wolf Rider. His teachers and parents were all very proud of Soren's imagination. One day, they noticed that Soren couldn't actually read. He could make stories from the pictures, but he could not read the letters. Soren couldn't read, no matter how hard they tried to teach him. Soren's parents took him to a doctor. The doctor did some tests and found that Soren had dyslexia. Dyslexia is when letters appear backwards, and it makes reading very difficult. The doctor gave Soren's parents and teachers advice for how to help Soren learn to read. Because of the doctor's help, Soren learned to read that school year. Now Soren also writes words to go with his stories. The above picture is taken of a historic market in Sarajevo. Sarajevo is the capital and culture center of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Historic markets are markets that have been around for many years. Even people today can go visit them. In Sarajevo, there are many mosques. There are also wooden houses with beautiful insides and lots of museums. Some popular museums are Mlada Bosna, the Museum of Revolution, and the Jewish Museum. Sarajevo was the sits for the 1984 Winter Olympic Games. The Olympic Games are held every four years, and athletes from all over the world come to compete. There are Summer and Winter Olympics, Every time the Olympics is held, a different country will host. That means the country will make the site where the athletes will compete. They will also arrange for where the athletes will live during the Olympics. It is considered an honor to host the Olympic Games. Sarajevo had that honor in 1984. Lucy lived in Shanghai. She loved school. She loved her family. She also loved a scarf that her mother had given her. This scarf was warm and pretty. It was very colorful. Lucy loved the pink, red, yellow, green, and blue color. Lucy wore her scarf every day in the winter. Her grandmother was happy that Lucy loved the scarf. One day, when Lucy was walking home, she got very hot. She took her scarf off and put it in her backpack. When Lucy got home, she learned that she had lost it. Lucy was so sad. Lucy started crying because she was sorry she lost her scarf. Her mother took Lucy's hand and they went for a walk to find the scarf. They found it on a wall. A kind stranger had picked it up and put it there. Lucy found her scarf and put it back on. She was thankful a stranger had put her scarf there for her. Hallie and Sean were sister and brother. They were twins, meaning they were born the same day. Their parents took them both camping. Their dad told them that being outside with grass and flowers was the best. Hallie and Sean were very excited. It was a long drive, but they finally came to their cabin. 
The cabin was far in the woods. Hallie and Sean liked being outside. Although there were no flowers, they both wanted to find some flowers. They looked everywhere for flowers. They looked where the logs for the fire were. They looked at their neighbor's cabin. They even looked at the garbage dump. They did not find any flowers anywhere. When Hallie and Sean were ready to give up, they noticed they were very lost. Hallie and Sean started to cry. When they opened their eyes, they found one white flower. When they went to go see the flower, they saw another one, and then another one, and another one. Hallie and Sean followed the trail of white flowers until the trail led them back home. Hallie and Sean loved the flowers for helping them. John and Maddie loved each other very much. They loved spending time with each other doing sports. They did extreme sports like skydiving and paragliding. They also did team sports like soccer and volleyball. They also liked doing exercises like jogging and roller skating. When they were at home, they liked to go online to look for new exercise clothes and sports equipment. After they were married for two years, they had a baby named Max. They loved their baby so much, although Max was a lot of work. They stopped going out exercising. They didn't play sports as often anymore. John and Maddie were a bit sad. One day, they were looking for new sports equipment. They found a sled that could be used while cross-country skiing. John and Maddie were happy. This was an exercise they could do with Max. We all live here. This is a picture of the solar system. The solar system has eight planets in it. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. Earth is the planet we live on. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet we know that has life, such as humans, animals, and insects. The solar system is inside the Milky Way galaxy. There are many other galaxies just like the Milky Way galaxy. The closest galaxies to the Milky Way galaxy are the Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy and the Andromeda Galaxy. Galaxies can also move. One galaxy, called Messier 90, is slowly moving closer and closer to the Milky Way galaxy. Do you think these galaxies might bump into each other? Snort Snort was a pig who lived on an island. He was named Snort Snort because he always snorted, and his owners thought he sounded very funny. He had a friend named Timmy, who was a seagull. Timmy knew how to speak human language, so he would listen to the conversations when Snort Snort's family was eating, then tell Snort Snort what they had said. One day, Timmy learned that Snort Snort was going to be made into dinner. Snort Snort was so scared. Timmy helped Snort Snort run away. When they got to the edge of the island, Timmy said, This is the part where you fly. Snort Snort told Timmy he was a pig, so he couldn't fly. But he could swim. Snort Snort swam across the ocean with Timmy on his back. Finally, they reached an island and decided to live there. They were happy living together, away from humans. The Nonsuch is an important ship in Canadian history. The Nonsuch sailed from England to Canada in 1668. The Nonsuch sailed to Canada so it could trade for furs. The Nonsuch left England with, with a second ship called the Eaglet, the eaglet was damaged in a storm and had to turn back. The Nonsuch made it all the way to Canada and sailed through the Hudson's Bay. The sailors on board would work in shifts of four hours. There was a half-hour glass and a bell that would get rung every 30 minutes. The bell ring meant half an hour had passed, and two rings meant one hour had passed. At eight rings, meaning four hours, the sailors would change shifts. The Nonsuch started the Hudson's Bay Company in Canada. To this day, it is the longest-running business in Canada. A life-size replica of the Nonsuch is in the Manitoba Museum. People can go see what the ship was really like. Minji wanted to travel more than anything else. She was only in high school, so she didn't have any money, and she couldn't travel. Her family never traveled anywhere. Minji was sad but she wanted to travel, so she made plans. She had a book where she wrote where she wanted to travel to. 
Her goal was to travel to all the continents, even Antarctica. Minji had a Marilyn Monroe piggy bank, where she saved her money from babysitting. Minji finally graduated high school. Her parents wouldn't let her go travel because they wanted her to go to university. To go to university cost a lot of money, so Minji had to spend her travel money on school. Minji was so sad because she couldn't travel. One day at university, she came up with a brilliant idea. She would become a graphic designer. If she was a graphic designer, she could travel the entire world with her laptop and make money while she was traveling. Minji learned graphic design, saved up her money, and then traveled the world. Wind was a young Buddhist monk. He was one of many young boys who were studying at the monastery. He lived in the monastery and spent his days meditating, studying Buddhist text, and helping around the monastery. He would sweep the floors, help prepare food, and wash robes. Wind was thankful to live in the monastery and have the opportunity to learn and study. One day, Wind was taking a walk outside with his umbrella. It was a very sunny spring day. He could hear the birds chirping around the monastery. He saw the cats running around. The cats liked living around the monastery. Over the birds, Wind heard a cat screaming. Wind went to see what was wrong, and he found an injured cat. Wind brought the cat back to the monastery and took care of the cat until it was better. Wind learned about how to take care of animals and was ready in case another cat got injured. Linda had many good friends. She loved her friends very much. Lately, she was not able to see her friends because all of them were studying. When they finished studying, everyone went home to sleep because they were so tired. Linda made all her friends promise that this Friday they would all make an effort to go out. They hadn't seen each other in so long. As promised, all her friends met each other on Friday night. They walked down a busy street where there were lots of restaurants. They decided to go into a Mexican restaurant and eat Mexican food. They stayed out very late and talked all night. The next day, they all slept in very. Even though they were all tired, they were happy they spent time with each other. Workshops are an important place because things get made and fixed in workshops. Some workshops are for cars. When a car is broken, it goes to a workshop to get fixed. Other workshops are for wood. In those workshops, things like cabinets and dressers are made. Rhonda was an old woman who owned a workshop. Rhonda made art in her workshop. Rhonda would go to the dump every day. The dump is where garbage goes. It is very smelly. There is lots of garbage. Rhonda loved going to the dump because sometimes she found metal or wood objects. Rhonda would take these home to her workshop and turn the garbage into art. People would come to Rhonda's workshop and see her art. People really liked Rhonda's art, so they would buy it. When people asked Rhonda where she got the wood or metal to make her art, she would explain she got it from the dump. One woman's garbage is another woman's treasure, she would explain. Everyone agreed. Meditation is something many people like to do. Meditation is a very old activity, and people have been doing it for thousands of years. Even people today enjoy meditating. Meditating every day can lower stress, improve focus, and help with relaxing. Because people work very hard at work or at school every day, they enjoy coming home and meditating. To meditate, people sit comfortably. They focus on their breath, focusing on breathing in, holding the breath, and then breathing out. Instead of thinking other thoughts, they think about breathing. When their minds start to think of other things, people need to think again about breathing. Some people like to put on music when they meditate. Other people do not like to sit when they meditate. They prefer to go walking or to do activities like yoga. There are many ways to meditate, and the important